Alright everybody, sorry I just had like the spirit just made me want to do this right now. Uh, I know it's Sabbath and I know my hair looks really good, but you gotta try and pay attention to me. It's just um, beautiful. It's about um, in the Bible where Yeshua says, depart from me, I never knew you. And we've been talking about this lately and it's kind of a balance because I, 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 who am I to judge, right? But I've read the Bible and... It's, he does say that, though. It's pretty clear. So there's going to be a lot of people that think... That, and you know, here's the problem. I think of, like, pastors that I know that are really, really, really good people. And I feel really bad if that was them. And, right, who am I to think anything? But, but I read the Bible, and I can see the actions of people. So when you're a pastor and you run a church, and you have Halloween events, and especially Halloween events, I mean... Yeah. Uh, and then you have Christmas events, which I understand ish, but I, you know, it's not right. And then Easter events, Ishtar and Saturnalia, which is Christmas. And you just kind of, uh, Don't forget. Wait, wait. I know, I know you just rationalize yeah, it because, know. you know, the Roman Catholic Church, who you should look up who founded that, Simon Peter, he was a hypocrite. Um, not the, Simon, not Simon not the Peter, good the Simon, Simon Peter. Apostle. Yeah, the bad one. Um, in Rome, in, you know, the, the the scam is well, Roman Catholic Church says that since Jesus you know saved came and saved us, he conquered the world and made all those things. Because what happens is the Roman Church didn't want to fight all the pagans and all those people. It's and they'll say it's easier to assimilate people and just accept their nonsense than to fight them. So they took all those holidays and said, oh Jesus conquered them, so they're clean now. Well, let's eh, so let's <laughs> let's examine that, um, shall we? Go back to the Old Testament. Now I know a bunch of Christians are like, what's that? <laughs> um, um, I was uh, one of them, so I'm not going to just make judgments here. Newsflash, the whole Bible, not just the yeah. New Testament, Christians. Um, because you, you'll understand a whole lot more, <laughs> trust me. Uh, so what does God say in Exodus and Leviticus? And we'll start with the golden calf. They make a golden oh, calf. Yeah. Yeah. Moses isn't gone 40 days, and dudes are like, well, I don't know if he came back. Let's, we need to worship something. And granted, they were Egyptized, and they, they didn't know any better. So, whatever. So, they made this golden calf and they started. They had to hold the commandments, and then literally. Yeah, and, you know, and the so, and, and God wasn't having that shit. He killed them, a bunch of them, for it. So, then he says, don't, what well, are the Ten Commandments? No other gods before my face. It includes Molech and Baals, all that shit. So, iPhones. anything, anything that you covet, really. Yeah, uh, your iPhone, you covet that thing. <laughs> so look, <laughs> no, hang on here. So the Roman, we got the Roman Catholic Church on one hand saying, oh, it's okay, Jesus conquered it. And uh, the Lord Almighty himself saying, mofo, I will kill you. Don't, this is a direct quote from the Institute for Scriptural Research, the blue book. Don't even say their names. Don't we'll celebrate their holidays. I don't know why I just got in a rant about that. It's the spirit just struck me because um, that's something like very close to our hearts. It's you know, and it, you know, changing our life. Right, and you just that, I could just so. imagine you know there's a bunch of pastors out there. They're like, well, no, it's because of this. It's like, no, no, it's not. And I hate to even take it this far, but every time I see a huge church, I get irritated because to me it's like like the last i hated to say it but the last church we were at it was a beautiful church coffee shop the whole nine auditorium stating like big band set up for the band and guitars and it's like it's all nice but um now they're building a 10 million dollar building for the kids and it's like well what could you do with that 10 million the buildings you have already work well but they're old and do they work are they serviceable yeah what are you doing, though? It's all right if she hears it. Anyway, the breeze. Anyway, so, um, you know, I just wonder, look at these big churches that obviously took millions, if not tens of millions of dollars to, to build. And I said, well, what's wrong with a building that's only a million dollars and then put nine million into what the Lord would probably... I'm not making judgments. I'm not judging. I'm just right, asking the question. Right, it, it just right. seems to me when I see right. these, these churches that are tens of millions of dollars, right. and it's so people can go and... and but then you think of like people having a hard time paying their their rent. Um, like there's so many disasters going on around our country where like I'm yeah. sure money can be needed. I, I like, can't. I guess I can't judge. It just right. seems like. But there's a lot. Right. Right. 
right. So we're again, to figure out the, the priorities. Like we're not gonna, prior, right. But. So here's the thing. What I'm getting at is is what is sin? It's not following the law. What is it, John? three or something what it says specifically Sin is lawlessness, lawlessness. lawlessness the law which is the law of Moses is law so um, he says you <laughs> workers you know the Lord Jesus says get away from me you workers of iniquity and that's going to be well, pastures we think. most likely pastures right. that think they're doing but we cast out demons in your name and we did trips and we flew overseas and blah 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 I mean it could be people too I mean yeah, that's what and people and, and many of us want to see be anybody. And the, like, the point of this is I don't want to see that happen to right. anybody, including me. Listen, it might be me too. I don't right. know. I might be talking shit. Right. I don't know. But it, from reading the Bible and just reading the black and white text and then seeing the actions of people, you probably should reevaluate what you're doing there. I say. Just a thought. I, think, may, I may have, I mean, you know, I may have even made this video Everybody before. needs to check themselves like, with the, Be, before you wreck yourself. Right. I mean, we all fall short of the glory of God, and we all have humans and our brokenness. So it's so easy to get off track sometimes. You just think that you're, you know, doing everything okay. Because doing sin is bad for your health. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, oh, the dogs <laughs> don't eat shit. They don't eat shit. Oh, get red face. Get red face. I don't even know if I'm getting this on film. I'm probably like getting the like the cr the cracks in the wood over there. <laughs> All right. So anyway, that's my like whatever rants. Like old man yell at the cloud taunt. Like wow, I wag my finger at you for poke myself in the eye. Oh, I don't know. I need a pirate patch, babe. How much? I, I just think I'd be like too sexy with a pirate patch. Dad, are you okay? Like the mystery, the mystery just would be off off the chart. Yeah, be in demand. Daddy, you okay? Arr. Pirate patch. I'd look extra cool. Uh, that's our Good. That's what you get. Talking smack.